What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM22 series where we look at some young talent on Football Manager and we see how they get on the course of their career, both players that I pick that I'm curious about and players that you give me in the comment section or in Discord. Before we go any further guys, thank you for joining us today. Hit the like button down below, it really does help the channel out and subscribe for daily FM content. Down below is my FIFA channel, same rules there to FIFA and also my Let's Play channel as well as down below as well. So free channels to get involved in down below, Discord, Twitch, di Twitter, all that stuff down below as well. So if you are a player featured on this video, all you gotta do is follow the following criteria. Either leave his name in the Discord, if you're in there, or in the comment section. Leave as much info as you can so I can find him easily. And also check the playlist, make sure it's not been done, not been done already. And also schedule also down in the description for this series and uh, make sure it's not been requested already and it's on his way to being, being released. So it's actually time uh, and, all, and all that stuff. So today's player is a player that's been requested in, I believe, the Discord was, uh, this one came through from Lorenzo Luca. Um, straight away, finishing 16 already and hitting 16. So this guy's an absolute tank. Uh, I need to get a change to, to, to get the proper height in there. Um, feet and inches, which I mean. So, um, straight away, finishing stands out. Uh, not amazingly quick at 20 years old. That could obviously change. Same jumping reach. Good determination. Heading really good as well. He's got some interesting traits on him as well. He's got a weak left foot, very strong right foot. Shows the power. Plays it back to goal and tries long range free kicks, which makes sense given that he's got 15 strength and he's quite good in the air, that he would play it back to goal a bit more. So, cut information, he signed your contract recently, so you can't get him in the first season, uh, unfortunately, which is a big disappointment. Um, I've done a scout report for you, for him, as you can see there, not willing to leave in the first window. Two star current ability, four star, maybe five star potential. I've done a quick um, update for you on um, update, but altered his, his digibility to the highest rate, which is 180. That's the highest he can get to. Um, again, consistent performer, really good in the air. Kind of got that. Jump and reach, we saw that as well. And these agent fee quite high. His boomers crosses, not an issue. Uh, can play in one position. Again, he's great, it doesn't matter. And when he's learning language, not a big surprise. And already he's almost on a par with current ability of Marcus Rashford, which is, I'm not sure if that's a good thing for Luca or a bad thing for Rashford at this point. Um, so, no lease clause in his contract, but obviously he's just signed a deal, so can get in the first season. But he's key chance to scout him and get more information on him before you make that, make that purchase if he's had to do so. His current valuation is 425k to 5.4 uh, million so not over expensive but that may change with the first real jump he has. So let's continue guys to the first jump and see how he gets on in the early part of his career. All right, folks, he's now at Arsenal, and the pace has actually increased a lot, which is great to see, uh, to a level which is very, really, very really good. Finishing first touch, heading, very, not the most technical overall player, but as a brute force striker by the looks of it. Um, good composure, good technique, technique, good finishing, first touch, heading, off the ball's good, good termination, nicely rounded physical stats, in my opinion. Um, guy looks like a phenomenon, doesn't he? Let's have a look at his uh, development, see what traits he's got on. He... He's trying first time shots now, it's only you new one that's on his player traits. Injury records, so have a look what we've got here. So not overly injury prone, which is good to see. We didn't see that to fair on the sky report, did we? So it's not big not something that we could be worried about. So let's have a look how things got on. So Pizza got in 14 and 3. Then he got 22 and um no, zero in Serie B, both of those leagues. But in Serie A, I got 17 goals in Serie A um, in his first season in, in that division, um, at Pisa at least. And then in the Premier League, goes to Arsenal for 44 million pounds, and he gets 31 goals in 30, 36 appearances. That's his first season in the Premier League. Now, obviously not not the most technical striker, but got the finishing, got heading, pace isn't bad. You get balls in penalty area, corner kicks, set pieces, crosses, even hold great hold up play. So you're playing like a hold up play, you got your, you got your wingers cutting inside, you can hold the ball up and maybe play them in. Obviously passing might be an issue for that, but the guy's a great focal point and has clearly got an eye for goal with 31 goals in 36 appearances. And he's not overly expensive either. £44 million for someone of this quality is not a bad deal at all. And he's actually, I think, 
borderline, borderline, borderline a bargain. Right then. But can he maintain that though? Let's find out. So he's still at Arsenal, folks, and the stats just keep getting better and better. Uh, passing up to 12, so he's developing a bit better now. Um, look at him, he's absolutely fantastic. Um, and the fee Arsenal paid for, they've got a bargain deal here. They really have got a bargain deal that they should be very happy with, that they've managed to pull off. Now, injury-wise, there's nothing there concerning me personally, though you can give your thoughts on that in the comment section. Um, so, first season, got 31 goals. Then he got 31 again and 7 assists. 33, 40, 32. The guy is a goal machine. I'm not even, that's not even exaggerating it. He's got 30 goals a season, every season in the Premier League. Getting 40 and 1. Even the first year in the Serie A, he got 17, which is, again, maybe a new, a new promoted side. This, and he's not all expensive. £44 million pound for this guy is an absolute brilliant deal he's almost got as many goals as, he's got almost got as many goals as assist as, as appearances for Arsenal that's how good this guy is so you should be looking to get this guy in in, in the season I think obviously for a million pounds a lot of money but if you get him earlier on and you scout him I say scout him early on and work on the deal and stick in a certain way like I always say you could actually get a good deal for him I didn't do a fee on this video because simply put he wouldn't leave anyway um so there's, there's no real value in it because in, in a few months time or years time the game could be, be, be different in your save so the valuation of, of this player in this save won't necessarily line up with yours but from day one you get an idea at least even though one of the maximum potential you get an idea what the fee would cost for him so let's continue guys and see if he maintains that level of 30 goals a season because i see the reason why he can't the guy still got it at 32 years old I mean, this could be the, one of the best strikers on FM, FM, this, FM 22 this year. Um, bit of money to pay for him, but the start, look at this. The, 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 the technicals weren't great at the start, but they're definitely improving. Um, heading long shots, first touch, finishing. Anything about him screams bye, bye, bye. <laughs> I mean, it just really, really does. Uh, and you know I'm a sucker for a striker of this kind of quality. Um, so, injury record, again, I don't see anything concerning there. Um, to be honest, player traits, still got the relatively the same ones. Did he can maintain the 30 goals? He's will start at the bottom again to 31, 33, 40, 34, 37, 37, 37, 35. He is a goal scoring demon. He he shoots, he scores. Literally is what he does. Um and I just I think the fee again for this guy is absolutely worth it. The, that forty-four million pound is going to be—you'll be laughing if you if you pay that for him, and he develops anywhere near like he can for you on on the game. What an absolute brilliant player that's been suggested by, by the, the Discord. And if you signed him, guys, let me know he's got him for you. Is he the same for you in your saves? Has he done the same thing for you? Because I'm seriously excited to sign him in, in my Man United series. That I'm one well, series, my Man United save. Um, really excited in doing it. That I'll probably go for Darren Nunes. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, and I hope you have enjoyed it, hit that like button down below and subscribe for daily FM content. If you've got a play one to look at, guys, feel free, like I said, to put it in Discord if you're in there, or, or join it. Or if you join it, you want to put, you can put it in there, or you can put it in the comment section. Leave as much info as you can. Check the playlist, check the schedule, make sure you don't ask the players what's been done, and also don't forget to check, check, check out the other channels as well with the FIFA content and Let's Play content. And don't forget to hit the cheeky like button and subscribe as well. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.